Well, welcome back. This is Stocks to Watch as we continue exploring EcoWave Power, a leading onshore wave energy developer changing the world one wave at a time. And on site, we have the pleasure of Ina Braverman, the founder and CEO, joining us. But first and foremost, welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here in the U.S. first onshore wave energy project. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Yeah, and it's such a pleasure. And diving right into this, I mean, let's start with the big picture. You're launching your first U.S. project right here in Los Angeles. Why did you choose the Port of L.A. for this milestone and how does it fit into EcoWave Power's kind of broader U.S. strategy? I think the Port of LA is a very visible port. We're here in the premises of Alta Sea in the Port of Los Angeles. Alta Sea is a blue hub uh, for uh, different technologies related to the sea. Uh, so we think we can get here great visibility. Uh, we were able through this project get very good legislation in place and a Bill 605 by Governor Newsom. And I think really Los Angeles is a city of opportunities and uh, we're excited to be here. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want to give us a high-level overview of the pilot itself? I mean, what technology is being deployed and what kind of power output or capacity are you kind of targeting in this phase? So I would walk you through the pilot. So behind me, you can see a few of EcoWave Power floaters. So basically, uh, the floaters, as we know, are attached to existing man-made structures such as piers, breakwaters, and jetties. Uh, we attach to existing structures on purpose because we don't want to create any new presence on the ocean floor and disturb the marine environment. The floaters are going up and down with the movement of the waves, pushing the hydraulic cylinder, which is the silver road that we can see down there. Uh, and the, then they transmit biodegradable fluid through these pipes that we will see here. So we can see here the pipes. Through these pipes into a... Mm, conversion unit, which is located on land, just like a regular power station. And let me walk you to the conversion unit and explain how the energy generation process works. Are you okay with me, like this, that I'm moving? Yeah, no, it's no problem at all. And maybe while you're walking here, this project involves yeah. strong collaboration. I mean, you have Alta Sea is hosting the site, and Shell Marine Renewables Energy has kind of stepped in as a co-funder. Uh, what brought these partners to the table, and how does each one contribute to the project's success? So Shell contacted us. They were very interested to be a part of the first wave energy project in the United States here in the port of Los Angeles. Uh, traditionally, Shell is an oil and gas company, but I assume they also want to be a part of a new wave of innovation. So we're very, very excited to have Shell as part of our project. And the Alta Sea as a hub for blue economy, uh, the collaboration with them simply makes sense. So as I said before, the floaters that we saw are going up and down with the movement of the waves. They're pushing the hydraulic cylinder, which transmit biodegradable fluid into land-located accumulators. A pressure is being built. The higher the wave, the higher the pressure, turning the hydro motor, which is turning the generator, which is creating the clean electricity. The whole system is controlled by these smart automation systems, which enables the control and the safe operation of the whole system. Now, I, uh, I'm just diving into this a little bit further. I know you're using kind of uh, local you know, construction companies and you're engaging uh, with a gentleman here named Ian from CNC Welding. Uh, maybe give us a quick idea on kind of adapting these contractors into EcoWave. So it's extremely important for us at EcoWave Power, not only to produce clean energy for the benefit of local population, but also to use local subcontractors. So the floaters that you saw here before, they were uh, created by Always Metal. It's a woman-owned business, and I don't have to tell you how rare it is to have a woman leading a, a steel manufacturing business. Uh, all the installation works were done by CNS Welding, and we have Ian here, uh, the owner of CNS Welding, uh, joining us, uh, who is in turn in tech part of our installation process. He installed the whole floaters and we hope to work with him also in other uh, projects. And he will share a little bit of his experience uh, from the installation work. So background on EcoWave and the opportunity to work down here. So obviously uh, being a small family owned business, uh, the neat thing is, is my dad actually started this business. And then I had the opportunity just a few years ago to take the reins, so to speak, and, and build something for my kids. And when I got the opportunity to work down here, being an avid outdoorsman and spending most of my time at the beach and in the mountains and also living so close to this, I've seen these projects my whole life. So when I got the call, I was more than excited, uh, to say the least. And it, it just kind of went from there. 
using local vendors, being local myself, getting all these guys that I've worked with my entire career to come down here and be a part of such an innovative project is just a once in a lifetime opportunity. So I couldn't be more happy with the team that's in place and the work that we've done. The police showed up to the job one day and down here, usually when the cops come, you know, everybody kind of goes, oh my gosh, what are they for? Uh, We actually walked up. I walked up to the guy. I'm like, excuse me, sir, can I help you? Thinking that we forgot a hot work permit or we didn't have the right things in place. And the guy actually came up to me and he was like, hey, I just want to see the project. Me and another partner of mine had invested in this and we wanted to see what it would look like in real life. So it was a really neat experience to see that, you know, I'm local and I'm invested. And then local police officers are stopping by because they invested in something like this. So it was a it was a neat story. And just uh, rounding this off and just kind of taking a look at where we're at to where we're going, I mean, currently uh, with your pilot plan expanding in the U.S., what does that look like moving forward and how do you continue to expand in the United States? So this pilot is very important to us since it's here to set regulatory framework for echo-wave power in the United States. Uh, We got experience here in working with the Army Corps of Engineers and with the Port of LA, kind of setting the precedent to regulating these sort of projects in the United States. It will also serve as a demonstration hub for scientists, for students, for press, for investors, for media, uh, making wave energy accessible to all. Uh, We're also planning some R&D here. discovering what's the best materials to build the floaters from, what's the best paint to use, and doing different types of collaborations with organizations such as PNNL and NREL. Uh, Now, our next steps in the United States are very, very exciting. Uh, Our goal here in the Port of LA is actually to expand the pilot and to grow it into a commercial scale installation. We can see a breakwater. I don't know how well you would be able to see it, but it's it's there. Uh, It's the external breakwater of the port of Los Angeles. Uh, This breakwater is eight miles long and we can install there up to 60 megawatts of power, which is around 60,000 households. So we're starting here. We're starting small uh, with the goal and ambition to grow and to install a larger scale installation, starting here in the port of LA and continuing to 77 sites that we're identified in a feasibility study that we made jointly with the support of Shell. Uh, We already started contacting the 77 sites in the United States that we identified, and we hope that this pilot is only the beginning. On that note, we'll pass it off to the viewers as always. We'd love to know what you think in that comment section below. Consider subscribing as news catalysts come down the wire. We're going to bring it to you here. But you can visit EcoWave at EcoWavePower.com, and it trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker WAVE. But on that note, we look forward to catching you in the next one.